Welcome back to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Let's get started. Today we're diving headfirst into the deep end, exploring the tools you need to navigate the infamous dark web safely. Now before we hit that subscribe button and jump into this rabbit hole, a huge disclaimer, exploring the dark web can be risky, and it's crucial to understand the legal implications. We're talking about a whole different side of the internet and it's easy to stumble into some seriously shady stuff. This video is purely for educational purposes. Think of it like taking a peek behind the curtain, understanding the tools and techniques but doing it responsibly. We'll be covering everything from the absolute basics to some more advanced stuff, all to make sure you're as safe as possible should you choose to dip your toes into these murky waters. Oh, and one more thing, I've got some appropriately dark and mysterious background music lined up for this one just to set the mood, so crank up those headphones and let's unravel the mysteries of the dark web. Alright, let's kick things off with the absolute cornerstone of dark web exploration, the Tor browser. Now you might be wondering, why not just use Chrome or Firefox? Well, those browsers are great for everyday browsing, but on the dark web they leave you totally exposed. Tor, on the other hand, is specifically designed for anonymity. Imagine a labyrinth of interconnected tunnels, bouncing your internet traffic through multiple relays all around the world. That's essentially what Tor does. It makes it incredibly difficult for anyone to trace your online activity back to you. It's like wearing a digital disguise, masking your IP address and making you blend in with the crowd. But here's the thing. Tor browser alone isn't foolproof. You need to be smart about how you use it. Don't go entering sensitive personal information on any site you visit, and always double check those URLs, because even on the dark web, phishing scams are a thing. Remember, think of Tor as a tool. It can be used for good or bad, and it's up to you to be responsible. So we've got our trusty Tor browser up and running, masking our digital footprints like a pro. That's where our next essential tool comes in, a VPN, or virtual private network. Think of a VPN as adding an extra layer of armor on top of your already secure Tor browser. A VPN routes your encrypted traffic through another server, chosen by you. Even if someone tracks your traffic through Tor, they'll hit a dead end at the VPN server. Plus, a VPN helps you bypass geo restrictions. Setting up a VPN is easier than it sounds. All right, so we've got our Tor browser for anonymous browsing and a VPN for that extra layer of security. But what if I told you there's a way to take things even further? Enter the world of Tails OS, a portable operating system specifically designed for preserving your privacy and anonymity. See, most operating systems like Windows or Mac OS, they store all sorts of data on your computer's hard drive, your browsing history, cookies, downloaded files, the works. Tails OS, on the other hand, runs entirely from a USB stick or DVD. That means every time you shut down Tails, it's like it was never even there. No traces of your activity, no logs, nothing. It's like using a public computer that completely resets itself after each use. Tails OS comes pre-configured with all the tools you need for secure browsing, communication, and file encryption, including, you guessed it, the Tor browser. Ready to level up your anonymity game? Let's explore Hoonix, an OS that uses two virtual machines to protect your identity online. Hoonix runs your OS within two VMs, the workstation and the gateway. The gateway routes all your traffic through the Tor network. Even if compromised, your real IP stays hidden. Hoonix forces all internet traffic through Tor. Serious about privacy? Hoonix is worth considering. All right, let's switch gears a bit and talk about an alternative to Tor that you might not have heard of. I2P, short for Invisible Internet Project. Now, while Tor is like the bustling highway of the anonymity world, I2P is more like a network of hidden tunnels offering a different approach to privacy and security. Instead of relying on centralized directory servers like Tor, I2P uses a decentralized network, kind of like a peer-to-peer -peer system. This means there's no single point of failure, making it more resistant to censorship and surveillance. It's like having a secret rendezvous point that only you and the people you want to communicate with know about. I2P might not be as well known as Tor, but it has its own set of advantages. 
It's generally considered to be faster than Tor for things like file sharing and browsing hidden websites. Plus, it has its own ecosystem of applications and services, like anonymous email, chat, and even social networking. If you're looking for an alternative to Tor for things like anonymous browsing or accessing hidden services, I2P is definitely worth checking out. So far, we've covered tools to browse the dark web anonymously. But what about communication? How do you keep your messages private and secure? That's where PGP encryption comes in, the gold standard for protecting your sensitive information. PGP, or pretty good privacy, is like a super secure lockbox only the recipient can open. It uses public key and private key cryptography to ensure only the recipient can read your messages. PGP encryption isn't just for the dark web, it's a valuable tool for anyone wanting to protect their privacy online. Alright, we've talked about PGP encryption, but what about those times when you need to send an email and you're not sure if the recipient has PGP set up? Don't worry, we've got you covered. That's where secure email providers come in, offering a hassle-free way to protect your email communications from prying eyes. Think of secure email providers like ProtonMail, Tutanota, or Posteo as the Fort Knox of email. They offer end-to-end -end encryption, which means your emails are encrypted on your device before they're even sent and can only be decrypted by the intended recipient. This means that even the email provider themselves can't read your messages. Unlike traditional email services where your data is often stored and potentially accessed on their servers. It's like sending a postcard in a sealed envelope that only the recipient can open. Most secure email providers are incredibly easy to use. You sign up for an account just like you would with any other email service and boom, you're ready to start sending and receiving encrypted emails. Let's talk about a cybersecurity essential that's not just for the dark web, but a smart move for anyone who wants to keep their digital life safe and sound, virtual machines or VMs. Now you might be thinking, are we building a computer inside a computer? Well, sort of. A virtual machine is like creating a completely separate, isolated environment within your existing operating system. Think of it like having a separate computer within your computer. You can install different operating systems, run different software, and even browse the web without affecting your main system. It's like having a digital playground where you can experiment without worrying about breaking anything. If you're really serious about security and you want an extra layer of protection, you can use a virtual machine to isolate your dark web activities from your main system. That way, even if you stumble across something malicious on the dark web, it won't be able to harm your actual computer or access your sensitive data. It's like having a safety net for your digital life. All right, security champions, let's talk about multi-factor authentication or MFA. It's that extra step where after entering your password, you need to enter a code sent to your phone or email. Passwords alone aren't as secure as they used to be. Relying solely on a password is like leaving your front door unlocked. MFA adds an extra layer of security by requiring multiple forms of identification. It's like having a security guard check your ID before letting you in. Even if someone steals your password, they can't access your account without the other factor. Okay, security superstars, let's tackle a topic that's often overlooked, but absolutely crucial for maintaining your online fortress password management. Now I get it, remembering dozens of complex passwords for all those different accounts can feel like a Herculean task. That's where password managers swoop in to save the day, like a trusty sidekick for your digital life. Think of a password manager as a secure vault for all your passwords, a digital fortress that keeps them locked away from prying eyes. Instead of trying to memorize a gazillion different passwords, or even worse, using the same weak password for multiple accounts, a password manager does the heavy lifting for you. Here's the beauty of it. You only need to remember one master password to unlock your vault. Once you're in, the password manager auto-fills your login credentials for all your accounts, making your online life smoother and more secure. Most password managers also double as password generators crafting those super strong, unique passwords that make hackers want to pull their hair out. So there you have it, folks. A crash course on 10 essential tools for navigating the shadowy depths of the dark web. Remember, knowledge is power.
and understanding these tools is the first step to staying safe in the digital world. But with great power comes great responsibility, so always use these tools responsibly and ethically. If you found this deep dive into the dark web as fascinating as I did, hit that subscribe button and join the Cyberworld community for more cybersecurity adventures. And hey, don't be shy. Drop a comment below and let me know what other tech mysteries you'd like us to unravel. Stay curious, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.